Today it's Microsoft. Uh, yesterday, for the, for the sake of it, it was Dell, right? Uh, all these big name companies are stealing our clients and stealing them away from the small businesses and the partners uh, that created and developed these relationships. It is hot garbage and we'll talk about, you know, how to handle it and how to actually win uh, in this situation. I'm Steven Taylor, this is Weekly ST. For the last 10 years, we've been building a couple million dollar cybersecurity IT support company here in Chicagoland, and we give away all the tips and tricks every single week. Please like, share, and subscribe. Previously, it was companies like Dell. You know, this week in the news, it's Microsoft. You know, they are quote unquote stealing clients and somehow ousting their partners, right? It kind of is a slap in the face, right? They're not exactly, you know, taking the clients from us, but they're trying to go direct and, you know, either sell more hardware or other services and doing so kind of outside of that partner relationship. And, you know, in my opinion, yeah, it's total bullshit. Uh, and at the same time, we have no control of it. You know, the, the corporates and the, you know, the big guys are going to do this because they have to provide shareholder value, right? And they have to have big gains and big profits. So naturally they're going to do these kinds of things. Um, you know, certainly there's a possibility that, you know, we could all band together and, you know, write, uh, to the powers that be and maybe change will happen. But what I like to focus on is the things that we can actually change. Answer the phone, right? Who likes sitting on hold and talking to 13 different people and wasting four hours of their time? No one, right? And so as a small business, that's one thing that we can clearly do differently than the big companies, right? We answer our phones live. We have fast and friendly, you know, people that our clients know, love and trust that they get used to and that they can work with. And that's a totally different ball game than the big corporates, right? And I believe, you know, our clients are going to want to stay close with us because of that style of the relationship, right? Yeah, Microsoft can sell them or Dell can sell them this, that and the other thing. But when they pick up the phone, who do you think they're going to call? small business is going to be more human than big corporate, right? And again, you know, clients want to do business with the, with people that they know, love, and trust, right? A small business can deliver that all day long. A big business simply cannot. And providing more value, right? How can we provide more value than the big corporates, right? The big corporates are interested in transactional business. What can I sell you as a commodity today and you know move forward and, and get that profit for, for the shareholders, right? Um, but how how we interact with our customers is looking really at the long game, the the big picture, right? And providing solutions and services that are gonna encompass all of those different things, not just the need and issue of today, but for the long term. Uh, and so I think, you know, all of those things are going to, you know, provide a, a better service, a better value, and continue to have our clients stick with us and do business with us, albeit, right, the conglomerates and the, and the big corporations are gonna, you know, send emails and do these sales pitches uh, outside of that relationship. It is what it is. If you can't change it, you know, focus on the things that you can change. Some companies have made the statement that they're what they'll call channel only. They are only going to do business with partners and through partners, they will not do business direct. Love it. I think it's a great fit. Unfortunately, in this capitalist, you know, um, profit driven society, long term, it's not going to provide enough shareholder value, bop, 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 right? Where that's why the big guys are going and doing this. Hey, we've got to sell more. So let's go to the client direct. Versus, you know, I think a long term strategy might be how can we empower the partners to do better business? How can we empower our partners to grow? And, and a lot of companies have done the, well, we'll offer marketing, you know, slicks and paperwork and, and sell sheets and all this stuff. And I just, it's not enough. I think they've got to get, you know, if they want to go that route to really empower partners, I think they need to go deeper and farther, right? 
sales training, right? Marketing training, not just fancy slicks and crappy email blasts that'll be sent out once, right? They've got to get these partners and these smaller businesses to understand what marketing and sales really is and help them build a true engine, not just a, hey, let's send out one mass email and see what happens, right? Um, so I get it from both sides and like a lot of things in life, it is both sides. But I think, again, it's, you know, let's focus on what's good about it instead of, you know, oh God, you know, they're, they're burning us to the ground because the truth is they're not, right? We can still operate, we can still grow, you know, amidst this or any other challenge in business. It's all what we focus on.